Hey everyone, welcome back to Quizzes with Chris. I've got a science and nature quiz for you in this particular quiz. So let's jump straight over to my website where the quiz is. And this is the science and nature quiz. So let's get straight into it now with question one. And question one, what is the smallest unit of life? Is it a cell, an atom, an organ, or a molecule? What is the smallest unit of life? And the answer to question one is cell. As we move on to question two, what is the hardest natural substance on earth? Is it iron, diamond, gold, or silver? What is the hardest natural substance on earth? Iron, diamond, gold, or silver? And the answer to question two is diamond. Question three coming up. What part of the plant conducts photosynthesis? Is it the roots, the stem, the flowers, or the leaves? And very well done if you said D, leaves. Question four. What is the largest mammal? Is it a hippopotamus, an elephant, a blue whale, or a giraffe? I'm sure many people know this one. What is the largest mammal? Hippopotamus, elephant, blue whale, or giraffe? And the answer to this question is the blue whale. Do let me know what you think of this quiz, and also do let me know what kind of quizzes you'd like to see on the channel. Question five, what is the main gas found in the air we breathe? Is it nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, or argon? And the answer to this question is nitrogen. Question six. Which planet is closest to the sun? Is it Mars, Venus, Earth, or Mercury? Got an image of the actual planet there for you. Which planet is closest to the sun? And the answer to question six is mercury. Question seven. Which organ pumps blood throughout the body? Is it the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, or the heart? Which organ pumps blood throughout the body? And the answer to this question is D, Hars. Question eight. What is the largest planet in our solar system? Is it Jupiter? Is it Saturn? Is it Neptune? Or is it Earth? What is the largest planet in our solar system? Again, I've got an image of that particular planet there. And the answer to this question is Jupiter. Question nine. What is the process by which plants make their food? Is it respiration? Digestion, fermentation, or photosynthesis? What is the process by which plants make their food? And I'm sure a few people would have got this correct. This is photosynthesis. Question 10. What is the boiling point of water? Is it 100C, 0C, 50C, or 200C? What is the boiling point of water? And very well done if you said 100C. Do remember you can play these quizzes interactively over on my website at ultimatepubquiz.co.uk where you will have a chance to get on the leaderboard. And I've given two lives on this particular quiz, which you can set up here at the top. And basically, it's quite simple. The quicker you answer the questions and the more you get right, the higher up the leaderboard you will be on that website. So like I say, that's ultimatepubquiz.co.uk. Co .uk. This question, question 11, 10 to go. Which element has the atomic number one? Is it carbon, hydrogen, lithium, or helium? Which element has the atomic number one? And the answer to this one is B, hydrogen. Question 12. What is the chemical symbol for water? I didn't realise I'd added that image in there, so I think it's pretty obvious which one it is. I genuinely thought I'd put a water image in there, so I'm sure you would have known anyway. But the answer to this particular question is, of course, H2O. Moving on, what planet is known as the red planet? Is it Mars, Venus, Jupiter or Saturn? Which planet is known as the red planet? Mars, Venus, Jupiter or Saturn? And again, nice easy one. This one is, of course, Mars. Question 14 of 20. Which planet is known for its rings? Is it Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, or Saturn? 
Which planet is known for its rings? Is it Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, or Saturn? And again, I would imagine a high percentage of answers for this question. The answer is Saturn. Question 15 of 20. What is the chemical symbol for gold? Is it AU, AG, FE, or PB? What is the chemical symbol for gold? And very well done if you said AU. Question 16 of 20, five to go. What is the most abundant gas in Earth's atmosphere? Is it nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, or oxygen? What is the most abundant gas in Earth's atmosphere? And the answer to this one is A, nitrogen. Moving on to question 17 of 20. What is the largest organ in the human body? Is it the brain, the skin, the liver, or the heart? What is the largest organ in the human body? And the answer to this one is skin. Moving on to the next question. What gas do plants absorb from the atmosphere? Is it nitrogen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, or oxygen? What gas do plants absorb from the atmosphere? Nitrogen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, or oxygen? And the answer to this question is B, carbon dioxide. Two questions to go. Question 19 coming up. What is the powerhouse of the cell? Is it the nucleus, the ribosome, the chloroplast, or the mitochondria? What is the powerhouse of the cell? And the answer to this question is mitochondria. We've got one to go. If you are looking to get 20 out of 20, you will need the answer to the final question. What is the main component of the sun? Is it oxygen, hydrogen, helium, or carbon? What is the main component of the sun? And the answer to the last question, very well done, if you said hydrogen. That brings us to the end of this particular quiz. Remember, you can go over to ultimatepubquiz.co.uk and play the quiz there. And you can see, you can get yourself on the leaderboard. I will add myself to the leaderboard on this particular quiz so that you've got something to beat, as I will be the first one on there. So let's put in quizzes with Chris. And when I click enter onto that, you can see I'm in first place with 20 questions correct in a time of 8 minutes and 59 seconds. I'm sure you will be able to go ahead and beat that. Do keep checking out the website as well because I'm going to be adding a lot of interactive quizzes on there that I won't be doing on the YouTube channel. And that brings us to the end of this quiz. Do let me know in the comments how many you got. Do let me know also what you think of the style of the quiz and if there's anything you would change. And finally, what kind of quizzes you would like to see on the channel. That brings us to the end of this particular quiz and I will see you in another quiz very soon. Thanks for playing.